Hello Scorpios, how are you doing? Happy Sunday to all of you. Uh, this is going to be your All Signs read. Um, I know a lot of you have been asking me to do that. So I'm going to honor your request. So uh, hopefully um, you can hear me better. Um, so let's see what's going on with you Scorpios and love. We're going to start off with Capricorn, okay? We're going to start off with Capricorn. Scor Scorpio and a Capricorn. So if you're a cross watcher, um, it'll be in order, okay, from the signs of the months. So we're going to start off with a Cap Capricorn here. So let's see. Are you getting back? Let me go back and ask. I forgot to ask angels. Sorry, angels. Um, so this is going to be about you and love. This is not about career. This is about you and your person you're dealing with, okay? Just one more shuffle. Okay, for you and Capricorn. Are you, tell me, angels, guys, about the zodiacs. For all 12 zodiacs, starting with Capricorn and Scorpio. Capricorn and Scorpio. Let's see what we get. All right. There's going to be some type of delay here, Scorpio. Some boy may not be speaking to you. They might be upset with you or you're upset with them. Uh, they're taking a time out, taking space from you. And they're not wanting to talk at this moment. Okay, so let's see what's another card. One more card for Capricorn. One more card for Capricorn. There we go. Um, they just don't want right now. Don't want to talk to you, Scorpio. With the the this is for Capricorn and Scorpio. They don't want to talk, and they feel like right now it's too much energy going on, too much stress, and they really want to delay this kind of time. They haven't went away, but they are trying to let the stress, the the time to kind of heal this situation a little better, where they're able to come to you and talk to you okay so that's what i have for capricorns let's move on to leo if you're dealing with a leo scorpio and leo in love show me the cards for singles or people that if you're just wanting to know about your person all signs for leo and scorpio all right that might be you scorpio the death card in reversed And that's going to come out. All right. The Scorpio, you are still in the, dealing with the Leo. You're still in love with this, uh, this person. And they, you have not left this situation. They have not left this situation. They're still in love with you. They still might want to work this. Well, let's get another card to confirm that. Um, what do they want? Yeah, they want to um, work this out, Scorpio. Um, so if you're dealing with a Leo, they, they're thinking about you. They want to work this out. You have been arguing a lot. And they need some changes to be, need, need to be made. Uh, but Scorpio makes sure that you understand that they, if they come back towards you and you want this to work out, you're going to have to make some changes too, okay? Based on the Scorpio in reverse. Let's go on to Taurus. Scorpio and a Taurus. Scorpio and a Taurus. Okay. All right. You have the Eight of Swords. This is the Taurus here. Scorpio typically gets along with the Taurus. Okay. Well, you're getting the same cards back. But an extra card there that the... Hmm, you might be dealing with someone in a Capricorn replacements. Um, I think that's what I just said. Uh, this person now has flipped up in the reverse. From the reverse into upright. It seems like here, Scorpio, they are a lot of stress here. You know, if you're dealing with this Taurus person, they have not apologized to you. But they are some creative, some distance. They could be long distance from you. But they are still waiting for apology. You might be waiting for apology. But this has been a very stressful situation. Um, right now, you just need to maybe take some time out and let that person have their space. Because they are very in their emotions right now with you. And they're really upset with you for whatever you, what went wrong, okay? But as of right now, they're not moving. They're not, um, they might be determined later on to come back and fix this. But right now, they, they see this as being over. So, um, that's what I'm getting from that energy. So, let's go on to Virgo. Now, everything is possible when you're dealing with other signs. It, you know, the Zodiac personality is also about... Um, you know, you're going to have to work your own, I call it environmental personality, you know, the way you grew up, your true personality of who you are, matches with your Scorpio Zodiac personality. So everybody has different placements, so no one's made alike, right? So let's look at Virgo and Scorpio. 
in love, Scorpio and Virgo. All right, you have this, you have a King of Wands here. All right, why is this? Look at this card. I <laughs> hear everybody's getting this card. Okay, I've got more cards than I asked for. Um, they feel like right now, Scorpio, or you're feeling like this, that you are in the energy of this person with breadcrumbing you, playing you, and you got that, you just said, you know, you took some time away from this person too. You had to be strong in this situation. You had to kind of walk away and said, you know what, um, you know, until you can bring me something good, I will drop my, drop this person's, what you're waiting on is apology, and then you might drop your sword, but, or they're waiting on that for some reason, but this King of Wands and this Six of Pentacles, they were breadcrumbing you, and they're not giving you much out of this relationship, and you were carrying this relationship way too long than you should have, so you are waiting for that apology, and then maybe this can work out, but right now, Scorpio, you look like you're, I see that you're giving up on this, you're not wanting to deal with this Virgo uh, person or vice versa, okay, so let's look at Aquarius, Okay, so Aquarius for all signs for Scorpio and Aquarius. What's the energy for Scorpio and Aquarius, angel guys and spirits? Oh, okay. Oh, I have more cards in here. It's hiding from us, right? Okay, Scorpio, this looks like this Aquarius. I don't know. Um, you have put your foot down here. Um, they may not live at a distance or they're willing to take a risk or you are because the Queen of Wands is here to say, okay, Clarice, let's work this out. Or they're saying this to you. Um, someone is very sad. They feel heartbroken over this situation, but there's still a chance to be work this out. But not only that, you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Lover's card here. It does look like a karmic or a twin flame soulmate with Aquarius that you just can't get past. But it does look like there's some hope here. You know, it depends on, again, if you want to work this out or not. But there's strong hope here that you as the Queen of Wands or they are as the Queen of Wands. Someone here is willing to take a risk because you have that uh, lover's card and the Ten of Pentacles there so, making that commitment. So the Five of Cups is there showing somebody's thinking about you, missing you. So there is some chance here. There is a chance here for you to get back with that Aquarius. Okay, take it as it resonates, okay, everybody? All right, so let's move on to Aries. All right, fire signs, Aries. Now, Aquarius is a fixed sign, too. Just for Scorpios, you know, you're a fixed sign. Aquarius is a fixed sign. Leo's are a fixed sign. So you have that kind of understanding. You don't like things to change, but it's very hard to commit, right? So let's see. But when you do, you do. All right, let's go to the Aries for Scorpio and Aries. Dealing with the Aries here. You have the world card first, high front, three of pentacles. Somebody, this is, if you're dealing with an Aries, it's like this is kind of over through, from a divorce or a relationship. Um, they don't look like, but the closer has, chapter has not closed out uh, from this breakup. So let's clarify that we're, uh, the three of pentacles, somebody does not want to work on this. And there's, yeah, there's not any, right now, if you're dealing with that Aries, it looks like it's over, but it's still no closure. Okay, someone won't close her. And this person's not willing to change. This person's not willing to come forward, offer anything towards you as of right now. So if you're dealing with the Aries, you not you might want to think about moving on. Um, depends on the time span, you know, that you have last seen this person. Okay. All right, so here you have the Gemini. We're going to move on to Gemini. So let's look at Gemini. For Gemini Scorpio. Okay, you have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Not of Cups coming forward. Alright, it looks like this is Gemini. If you're dealing with Gemini, this person was way too much for you to handle. It looks like um, the King of Swords in reverse. They're not speaking to you, not communicating. They don't want anything more with you. Sorry to say that, Gemini, if you're dealing with that Gemini, um, Ten of Cups, but they look like you might be, as yes, the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, trying to make this work, but in their energy, they don't want to make this work. So this looks like this is kind of a done deal for right now, or between the both of you. Okay, let's go into Libra, if you're dealing with Scorpio and Libra. Scorpio and Libra. For all signs for Scorpio and Libra. Show me the cards I need this Scorpio needs to see. Let me get one more. Let's go ahead and 
Let's see, the Ten of Cups in reverse. This person could have been codependent on you financially or vice versa. Uh, they could have been a player playing with your feelings. And you gave them that tower moment. Um, let's just get one more for tower moment. Oop, they gave me two. All right. Yeah, so you have the Knight of Pentacles. Look at that Queen of Pentacles. You were actually a, a soul, karmic soulmate if you were dealing with Libra, karmic, or um, twin flame. I wouldn't know about that until I did a full reading on you. Uh, but they look like this person, this uh, person was codependent or uh, the person's, or you could have been this Scorpio. But you felt like this person was playing you and, and coming in, chasing you. And then they just come in pretending they changed you and you saw that they weren't in this tower moment. But it looks like they were trying to benefit off of you. So you said, I'm going to walk away from this. This is not working. And um, you felt like this person could have been using you. And it, this is all based on um libra okay so it looks like this is not unhappy kind of situation but also a codependent issue where somebody was just trying to build off of you of your energy your money or something like that playing you um but it wasn't more it wasn't like in a romantic end of what you were wanting scorpio okay so let's see what's going on with our pisces all right so let's the pisces what <laughs> let's see okay Scorpio and Pisces. Scorpios and Pisces. All right, there they go. Okay, I'm going to shuffle these again because that looks like the same cards. I thought I separated them. Okay, let's do this one more time for Pisces. For Pisces and Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Pisces, which is very common with Scorpio and have power struggles a lot with Pisces. <laughs> sometimes it turns out, sometimes it doesn't. Scorpio and Pisces. All right, there's that King of Pentacles. Um, how's it Scorpio with all the signs with Pisces? Now, remember, Scorpio, this is your energy as well because you're connecting with this energy, okay? All right, Scorpio, so it looks like here you are your person. Uh, King of Pentacles is both focused on your, you might be focused on your money here. You're being very cautious with yourself, um, not getting involved too fast. But you look at this person as someone who cannot financially take care of you for some reason, Queen of Swords. But you do offer some type of friendship or maybe some type of, uh, you know, acquaintance kind of feeling here. Or they're feeling that as well. But let me get some clarification. Why is this Ace of Pentacles in reverse? They do. There's an Ace of Swords. I do want to talk to you. But right now they don't have much to offer you for some reason. They don't have a lot to offer you. But they do manifest you. Okay. And this has a potential work, you know, been able to work out if you're dealing with a Pisces because, you know, both of you are very similar in energies. Um, they do, you both have a good communication, like in a lot of ways. It's just that sometimes you don't trust each other. Something happened in the past where you don't trust each other or they broke your trust and now you're more cautious with them. So, um, but does it have a chance to work out in the future? Sure. Anything's possible, but in this energy here, they do miss your friendship for some reason. I feel like it's a friendship, and they want you to stay in their life, okay? So that's for Pisces. All right, so let's go on to who's next on my list. Excuse me, I have a list here, so I don't forget to miss anyone. one. All right, so let's go on to Cancer. All right, let's get the Cancerian. Who do I want to come out with? You're dealing with Cancerian right now. This Cancerian is not showing interest towards you, Scorpio, or vice versa. Uh, the Moon card, they're they're kind of holding back on you for some reason. They have been breadcrumbing you, and but they, I'm gonna put it. Um, it's kind of interesting. I just have Pisces, there's Pisces and Scorpio, but they could have it in their charts dealing with a can Cancerian or Cancer. Uh, if you didn't, they are not right now coming forward towards you. Because you have found out some things that they, the truth, um, they have not revealed to you. They've been get breadcrumbing you here and there. And then you have this tower moment. Let's see what that leads to in that tower moment for Scorpio. They run third parties and you're, you're seeing the red flags and you don't trust them. So I feel like this situation, if you're dealing with somebody who's a Cancerian, they don't have an interest in you right now. And they are, or this looks like it's over for the time being. Um, they're out with a third party that you know i think you see the red flags that them not communicating with you breadcrumbing you not telling you the whole truth of things 
I don't see them coming forward to you to communicate. Uh, but I do see here the tower moments here to rebuild um, or second opportunity from your end. You want the second opportunity or you are going on your way. But definitely there's some trust issues and some some um, red flags. So I don't see this going anywhere if you're dealing with Cancerian. And they have said something to you in this communication that affected you and you're, you're not, you just can't tolerate it it's more so the next person on our list is Sagittarius so let's see all right let's deal with Sagittarius if you're dealing with a Sagittarius fire sign I know a lot of you deal with Sagittarius and a lot of fire signs and water signs I know that happens a lot so let's look into the Sagittarius For Sagittarius and Scorpio, that one wants to come out. All right, so somebody is regretting something that they did to you, Scorpio, or vice versa. I always have to say that because nobody's perfect. Scorpios are not perfect. But, um, yeah, they're being, they're mad at you right now. They're not talking to you. They're being in defense mode. They're upset. Why are they upset? Ooh, Scorpio, you said something you, they did not like. They're mad at you, but they know you're a good person. You're working hard, and they're very conflicted right now what to do with this situation, but they do want to talk to you, Scorpio, okay? So they do want to talk to you. They do want to see you. Um, they think good of you as far as the way you're working. You're a hard worker. You provide very well. You're like the, you know, the wife or the husband type, but they're conflicted. And I'm just going to get one more on this page of wands for Sagittarius, but they are upset with you because you gave them that tower moment. So they are, they know they shouldn't have done what they've done. They're thinking about, yeah, they do. Well, they will be back if you're dealing with Sagittarius. They want to talk to you about a commitment and get get them out of the Eight of Swords energy with you. Because they do think you're worth it. And they do see that this can work out. But they know there's a lot of drama and things that they have caused you or vice versa. They brought for the tower moment to come down. They made you get mad and you saw through their BS. And they just want to reconcile this and make an offer to you and talk to you about it. Now, um, they they need to tell you the truth here on some things, okay? So that looks like it's going to work out if you're dealing with the Sagittarius and their feelings right now. Seems like you have you two have been battling a lot over the last six months or year. Seems like you have been in um, for the Eight of Swords be there. You but this has been going on. All right, let's deal with Scorpio and Scorpio, our last sign of the day on this for this week. Remember, every Saturday I give you a All Signs reading. Every Saturday or Sunday, let me say that day is Sunday, depending on my schedule and my readings. Hey, if you'd like a personal reading, reach out to me in the description box. I do take everything by PayPal. Please give me 24 to 48 hours to set that reading up, okay? Because I do get a lot of messages. And I do try to respond, and even my fan club. Okay, so let's look at the Scorpio. Okay, going into Scorpio versus Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, you got the Ace of Cups here. Who are you in love with? Ooh, that's a hard combination, right? <laughs> Scorpio versus Scorpio. Now, male Scorpios and female Scorpios are different. We have to say they're slightly different. Yes, I was getting ready to say that. Um, you might be dealing with Scorpio that is very, um, because you do match the same type of close Soviet personality, so it makes a lot of conflict. It, there's, you know, Ace of Cups, Scorpios that have passionate love for each other, right? But things happen along the way. Things start juggling around. You felt like somebody to start off really well, um, but the breadcrumbing and the devil toxic energy showed up, and the two, and this left you confused. Even though you felt like you were like a pair, a good soulmate energy, but it's an emotional attachment here. With that devil card and the ace of cups. How's this going to work out for Scorpio versus Scorpio? One more. All right, Scorpio, honestly, um, you want to talk, but you, you know, to get the calmer things and there's judgment card. Is to make again it's a very confusing situation but right now the relationship was like it's kind of broken um because you felt like there's some juggling going on and it's co conflicted and also very intense i would say communication changes are needed um because both of you have the same kind of feeling but you argue too much 
And I feel like here you just have that toxic energy and attachment there. But nobody's moved on. Nobody's made a decision to move on, leaving very confusing back and forth kind of energy. But I feel like at the end of the day, this is not going to work out. So if you're dealing with another Scorpio, you're probably not going to work out as much as even though sometimes love is not enough, right? Okay, Scorpio, let me just get one. What's coming up for Monday? So I don't really kind of be prepared. Uh, for Monday morning, so and I will do a reading almost every day for daily for Scorpio. Again, if you'd like a personal reading, let me know. So let's look what's coming up for tomorrow, what to expect, or what changes need to be made and worked on this week for you and your person. What changes need to be made this week with Scorpio and their person? Was that two of Pentacles again? All right, one more. What does Scorpio need to think about and work on this week? For them, for the person, with their person. Okay, that just came out. I was going to leave it there. So let's get one more. Okay. I'd rather for the, let's do close to the shuffle well enough. So, all right, Scorpio, what you need to work on this way, make a decision here. No more back and forth energy. Start working on your inner self about trusting others in the right way. That's part of your alignment, spiritual alignment, to work on yourself. And any kind of dark shadows that you need to think about, um, that how you're going to make changes in your life, and make a decision here, Scorpio. So there's something in here that you have not, um, that you need to work on within yourself about not being confused on a situation and uh, figuring out things, right? So figure out things that you want to work on and make a decision, decision, decision. Okay, two of pentacles, two of wands. You about, at the end, by the end of this week, you should be making a final decision on what about what you want to do with this person. Think, do it a lot of thinking, okay? All right, so you won't be confused. All right, Scorpio, that's what I have for you and your all signs. If you like a personal read, again, reach out, give me that thumbs up, and I will see you on the next read, okay? Have a great, great Sunday, or wherever you're at in the world, stay blessed, stay safe, and I wish you all the best. Until next time, send another light. Bye-bye.